In this session, we're going to see how you use Roundover, also known as Corner Round Tools, uh, to do fillets in GibbsCam. And I'm running GibbsCam 2016 in this particular example. So you can see that I've made a Roundover tool here. It's got a quarter inch radius on either side. The overall uh, diameter here is uh, one inch. Okay, so therefore the flat here along the bottom, this diameter, the smaller diameter, is half an inch okay so I'm going to go ahead and create a drag down a contour process drag my tool down on top of it go ahead and fill out uh, these um, this area first as is good practice in a Gibbs cam now you'll notice that um, I put a quarter inch fillet all the way around the top of this part okay so where you want to be in terms of your Z is at the bottom of the fillet so if I zero this out and I go hit alt and I pick on any one of these fillets um, I think you probably know in standard Gibbs cam it'll pick the lowest Z value of that fillet which is what we want okay so we want to be at the lower value of that and I'll set, leave the step at 0.25 as well I'll go ahead and leave in a quarter inch uh, radius um, as well um, let me zero out the stock here initially because I want to show you drive home the point about um, how this works so I'll leave my stock at zero okay, and I'll go ahead and close this out now in terms of um, the shape um, really it can be anywhere I'm using the profiler here I can drag it up and down anywhere from the bottom of the fillet down assuming there's no draft which there is not in this example anywhere from there on down will work and if you want to put it of course at a specific depth I can go ahead and get on any green grid line right click and set my profile depth to be, in this case, you know, minus 0.25. I'm going to apply that and I'll send it there. But again, anywhere below there would have worked as well. But I'm going to go ahead and pick right here and I'll, I'll accept the default direction and hit do it. Okay. Let's go ahead and simulate this. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pick the solid so that I can use tool motion on target body and uh, if I go and step through just the first few things and I'm going to get a right side view you can see here that uh, the tool is always calculated on the largest diameter so therefore this largest one inch diameter is the one that's parallel to there so we have to compensate for that um, so this distance will of course be one quarter inch because remember I made these this corner round at a quarter inch Okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly hop out of here and uh, let's go ahead and go into our process and I'm going to go ahead now and compensate for that by saying negative 0.25 on my side stock and I'll just go ahead and pick in the same place and redo this. Now if I go ahead and step through this as before and just get to that same place and get a right side view you will notice that the tool is now right on okay so that's how you approach uh, corner round also known as uh, roundover uh, tools and uh, fillet milling in Gibbs camp